Okay guys, so today we're finally putting everything back together. Um, I replaced the front crankshaft seal and right now I'm putting the cooling system back together, uh, installing all brand new gaskets and all that stuff, water pump and new thermostat as well. Uh, so um, this car's coming along, I'm pretty happy about that. Um, and I'm just happy that I replaced this front crankshaft seal just because it was, uh, it was leaking pretty bad from there, I don't know. Um, and to me it seems like someone's been there before <laughs> because it's uh, uh, like I could tell that you know like that seal was I think that seal was replaced I'm not too sure but at least that uh, front like cover that covers the oil pump chain uh, has been removed for sure so I'm just really happy that I replaced all that stuff and right now I'll be putting everything back together cleaning all the parts and painting some of them and uh, especially you know, I had some issues with the pitting on the uh, thermostat housing and uh, as you know there's that small hose that actually and the metal, uh, the aluminum actually corrodes in that place where that small hose attaches to. So I had to do some repairs to that um, and right now everything is good. I'm starting to put everything back together and hopefully I'll have it ready today uh, so we can start it up let it run and make sure everything is good and we have no leaks i'm about to install this brand new water pump on it and uh, of course all the bolts that i'm putting back i'm actually uh, coating them in uh, copper paste that way they will never ever seize and it will be easy to take off in the future if I ever need it And like I said, all the bolts are getting coated in copper paste. Uh, now, because I have the opportunity, I can clean the radiator from the inside. There's some junk right there. So I'll clean that up. Uh, not too much junk, but it's still a good idea to check this. And then we're gonna start putting everything back. I already put the water pump belt and the alternator belt um, on. And uh, we're getting ready, guys. All right, after some elbow grease, we have a clean radiator from the inside. And right now I can put it all back together. Okay, it's just lowering it down. And then we're gonna put the clips on and we'll be good to go. Alright guys, everything is almost all back together. I got all new belts. I just have to install the AC belt all the way. Uh, but we have brand new water pump, everything, alternators all back together. And uh, I also went to the store and I bought um, a new overflow hose, uh, which actually goes between two uh, cooling system housings. Uh, it sits right down there. And this is the old one. Uh, and I didn't like this old one, so I went ahead and uh, I bought this one and I'll replace this one. I'll install this hose and um, should be all good. It's the right size, fits perfect. Um, and then, yeah, uh, fan clutch is reinstalled and uh, we're almost done, guys. I uh, can't wait to start this engine and uh, see how everything is. And we're going to check for leaks as well, make sure everything is good. Before I install this hose, I want to make sure that uh, I put lots of copper paste on this area where the hose meets the metal part of the uh, water pump housing. I'm going to be putting copper paste there to prevent corrosion. I got new gasket getting ready to install this uh, upper thermostat housing uh, as you can see put copper paste right here and uh, we're all ready that surface is all cleaned up um, yep yeah, let's
let's go ahead and install this bad boy. It's getting pretty late um, and I'm still here working and I just degreased the whole valve cover I'll be painting it uh, right now and I'm just wiping everything off I'm getting it ready for paint um, just don't have much time in the day <laughs> which sucks so that's why I'm doing it right now and uh, hopefully I'll put this thing back together tonight and have it running um, and uh, I have a new I'll cover gasket for it as well. So everything is dry and ready for paint. Uh, I'm about to spray paint on it. This is this is the spray paint I'll be using high heat silver and uh, mainly why I'm painting this is because I hate seeing the uh, you know corrosion on these valve covers. I like them being nice. So this will prevent that, it will make it look a lot better than it used to be. And uh, yeah, you guys are going to say, oh, why don't you polish it? I don't want to polish it. I just want to have a nice silver paint on it. And this will do just fine. Alright, so it's pretty dark. <laughs> okay, here's my dad's 123. And just to show you, okay, I'm about to install the valve cover back on. And I prepped the surface all the way, okay. Cleaned all the surface for the gasket. And I'm also uh, cleaning the ball joints and greasing them for the throttle linkage um, and all that. And uh, yeah, we're almost done. Here's a brand new uh, valve cover gasket. And <laughs> that just fell. It's actually the PCV tube that we're gonna be replacing right here. Okay, it goes on top of the valve cover. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm just trying to clean some of this stuff right now. And uh, ooh, pretty crazy, guys. It's really late, I'm the only one here. <laughs> Uh, but gotta finish the job but I'm just loving the way everything's coming out uh, look at these beautiful stickers and readings I just love something like that this is so old school it's amazing uh, there's brand new parts right there new belts uh, new water pump uh, all the gaskets and cooling system components and the uh, gaskets that bypass coolant hose is brand new um, bunch of stuff guys and also <laughs> the thermostat and gasket all right guys i just decided to cover it up and uh, leave this job for tomorrow so i can finish it and then that way you can see everything a lot better too Alright guys, so I'm done. I put the valve cover back on and everything. Lubricated all the linkages and all that stuff. Everything is back together except the turbo line, uh, turbo tube, the U-tube. Um, 
uh, I'll install it once I run the engine. I want to make sure there's no leaks and everything is good first. And um, yeah, everything else is done. The linkages are uh, moving nice and good. Okay, all the ball joints were cleaned and lubricated, and yeah, I'm pretty happy. Uh, and I'm about, about to start this car up, and uh, we'll check for leaks, we'll check for coolant leaks, and other stuff too. Alright guys, um, pretty much almost done with everything as far as the cooling system components and uh, front crankshaft seal, everything is good, no leaks whatsoever. I'm pretty, ha you know, pretty happy uh, about you know, all that because it was really worth replacing your front crankshaft seal and you know, uh, these engines have you know, a lot of oil leaks now after 30-40 you know, years. So be sure to check yours out and uh, you know replace all the gaskets and seals that are needed. You know it's not a big deal. You can do it. You know it's not that difficult. Okay, and uh, hopefully by watching my videos, uh, you know you guys can have a little more uh, knowledge. You know about all that stuff and how to replace all that. Um, and I know I didn't film every detail. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but uh, you know I hope you enjoyed this uh, video series. Um, and um, I'm about to show you a couple more things uh, and yeah we're almost done here with this big job okay guys so let's go over quickly of what we did uh, did the valve adjustment replace the valve cover gasket um, cleaned and painted the valve cover itself uh, cleaned uh, and washed all these linkages and also lubricated them uh, I put some automatic trans fluid into all these bushings right there, which is really important. Um, and everything moves nice and good. And I also replace this seal, which is really common to leak and uh, cause issues. Uh, now, when we go to this, all these cooling components, cool, like it, they were all removed, cleaned, painted. Uh, that coolant bypass hose right there uh, was all clean I mean uh, replaced um, everything is all back together as you can notice I'm missing actually the heat shield for the EGR valve here um, for the exhaust uh, um, you know tube for the EGR valve so I'll have to find um, a heat shield for this um, and then you know later on I'll be working on all this stuff their filter mounts need to be replaced and all that also replace the coolant tank just because I had a, um, the one that was like more fresh and I just wanted to replace it uh, with that one um, and yeah everything is literally like refreshed on this car new belts uh, and you know water uh, vacuum pump gasket new water pump and gasket front crankshaft seal uh, new thermostat Mm, I mean, it's it's pretty amazing and this has actually uh, refurbished or probably I don't know maybe brand new alternator, but it has it's pretty fresh It has a Bosch name on it um, So yeah, it's it's pretty amazing guys, you know, this car is coming along and One more thing that I'm working on right now is just to touch everything up is there was some surface rust right here so I cleaned everything scraped all the rust off and let it soak in a rust dissolver so that is working uh, pretty nice and I'm about to actually put some primer on it and paint uh, using just this uh, you know foamy pad uh, which is pretty handy for stuff like that um, yeah guys and then later on I'll just reinstall this overflow hose and we'll be done guys